Welcome to Vintage SF. I'm Richard Rempel. Today, we're going to talk about the Golden Age Masterworks. This is a series of books put out by Golanx. Here is the news release announcing this line. Golden Age Masterworks by Golanx. Golanx's science fiction masterworks series celebrates its 20th anniversary with a new line. These are the Golden Age Masterworks. Golanx is thrilled to mark the 20th anniversary of its multi-million selling series of classics, the science fiction masterworks, with the launch of a new strand of publishing focusing on key titles from the golden age of science fiction's history. Marcus Gipps, editorial director of the SF Masterworks, says, The early days of SF produced many influential and much-loved works, which by virtue of their length and pulp factor, have never quite been a perfect fit for the main masterwork list. However, the success of such titles on the SF Gateway imprint has shown that there is a market for these fast, exciting reads. So are the Golden Age masterworks golden? Perhaps not. Let me explain. First, a bit of history. I want to show you some timelines created by John Clute. They're in the Illustrated Encyclopedia of Science Fiction. 1800 to 1899, the birth of the book. The SF Masterworks has Frankenstein and many H.G. Wells works from this time period. 1900 to 1924, the 20th century genre. Once again, we have H.G. Wells published in the SF Masterworks. Our first author for the Golden Age Masterworks is Edgar Rice Burroughs. Then we come to 1925 to 1949, SF is christened. You can see here that 1939 has its own individual year. Some argue that that's the start of the Golden Age, with John W. Campbell as editor of Astounding. Most authors that are considered Golden Age are shepherded by John Campbell and appear in Astounding. Here we start to see many authors appearing in the SF masterworks. Olaf Stapledon, Joseph O'Neill, Carl Kapek, Catherine Burdekin as Murray Constantine, George R. Stewart, and George Orwell. From the Golden Age Masterworks, we see a number of stories that are written during this time and collected later. Murray Leinster, C.L. Moore, and E.E. E. Doc Smith. 1950 to 1954, a bright new age. Let's take a closer look at the intro here. The golden age of SF ended with the ending of World War II. By 1950, after a period of quiet, a bright new age is about to begin for everyone, and SF takes on the new mantle of optimism. New magazines are founded, and new publishers begin to produce SF books. Many of these books are collections of stories from the Golden Age, or fix-up novels, stories which are revised to fit together like a novel. One prominent example of a Golden Age author who takes the stories from the pulp magazines and makes them into novels, fix-up novels, is A.E. Van Vogt. Sadly, none of his work is in the Golden Age Masterworks or the SF Masterworks. 1955 to 1959, The Established Genre and 1960 to 1964 on the cusp. In these years, well out of what people might consider the golden age of science fiction, we have golden age masterworks, publishing work by Arthur C. Clarke, Harry Harrison, Henry Kuttner, C.L. Moore, and John Wyndham. The golden age of science fiction seems to be a bit hard to pin down. Most say it coincides with John W. Campbell being the editor of Astounding. But he was the editor of Astounding all the way up to his death in 1971. Many talk about the years between 1939 and 1949. So many of the stories that were printed in Astounding in those years became novels, fix-up novels or collections of stories in the 1950s. So the Golden Age is a bit of a moving target. But I think you'll agree, some of these books are definitely outside of that range of the Golden Age. Let's take a look at my spreadsheet for the Golden Age Masterworks. On this spreadsheet, I have the cover, the author, the title, the copyright dates, and whether it's stories or omnibus. If it's not noted, then it's a novel. 
although it may be a fix-up novel. I have this sorted by author last name, and then, if there's multiple works, I have it sorted chronologically. We start with Edgar Rice Burroughs' Stories of Mars. This is actually an omnibus of John Carter novels, the first three. I haven't picked that one up because I have the first three right here. A Princess of Mars, The Gods of Mars, and The Warlord of Mars. So I've got that one covered. Next, we have some early novels by Arthur C. Clarke. The Sands of Mars, Against the Fall of Night, and Earth Light. And you can see them here. This one, I do have a review up on the channel. Let's take a look at the books themselves just to understand the formatting and livery. At the top of the covers, we have Golden Age Masterworks. This is the logo for the line of books. On the side of the book, we have GA for Golden Age, then Masterworks. And down here we have Golanx's logo. On the back of the book, we have a blurb about the book itself. We have a couple testimonials and then we have a bio. We have a list of works by the author and then the title page. Going back to our spreadsheet, we have Harry Harrison, The Stainless Steel Rat, and the Death World Omnibus. Stainless Steel Rat is from 1961, and the Omnibus has three books, Death World from 1960, Death World 2 from 1964, and Death World 3 from 1968. These books seem to be obviously outside of the Golden Age. I wonder why they weren't issued under SF Masterworks. We have a collection of stories by Murray Leinster, Sidewise and Time from 1950, Henry Kuttner, Fury from 1947. Here's my copy of Fury. Here's my copy of Sidewise in Time. And a list of the stories. Then we have four books by C.L. Moore. Catherine Lucille Moore. She was married to Henry Kuttner. Judgment Night, 1952. This is a collection of novellas. Here's my copy of Judgment Night. Judgment Night is this long. Then we come to Paradise Street. Paradise Street is that long. Then it's Promised Land, a bit shorter. Then the code. And finally, heir apparent. Northwest of Earth, 1954. For this one, I have a vintage Ace science fiction copy, Northwest Smith. This Ace printing is from 1982. Now I haven't compared it to the Golden Age Masterworks, so I'll have to see if the stories line up. Doomsday Morning, 1957. There's my copy. Jarell of Jory, 1969. This book collects stories from 1934 to 1939 in Weird Tales. There's the cover art. There isn't a table of content, but for example, you have Black God's Kiss is the first story. And here's something that is interesting and you should note for some of the stories we have of C.L. Moore and Henry Kuttner. They often work together. This story, Quest of the Star Stone, is by C.L. Moore and Henry Kuttner. So often they were a team. Then we move on to E.E. E. Doc Smith. Galactic Patrol from 1950. Those stories were stories from 1937 to 1938 and astounding. This seems to be Golden Age Masterwork material. Here's the copy of the book. 
Then we have Gray Lensman from 1951. Those are stories from 1939 to 1940 and astounding. Second Stage Lensman, 1953, stories from 1941 to 42. And Children of the Lens from 1954, collected the stories from 1947 to 1948 and astounding. I don't have copies of those books, and there's a reason why. After I'd purchased Galactic Patrol, I picked up Volume 1 and Volume 2 of The Lensman. This is a science fiction book club edition. In here, I have Triplanetary, First Lensman, and Galactic Patrol. So, that's a second Galactic Patrol. In the second omnibus of the Lensman, I have Grey Lensman, Second Stage Lensman, and Children of the Lens. So that covers the other three books from the Golden Age Masterworks. And the last book in the Golden Age Masterworks, at least at this time, is The Outward Urge by John Wyndham, 1959. There's novelettes from 1958 and later a short story that was added in 1961. I have a Penguin edition from my collection. I really like the cover on this one. And it collects the four novelettes and the short story. So there's my spreadsheet of 17 Golden Age masterworks. So not all the Golden Age masterworks are really golden. Even if we hold a wide definition for it, I don't think Edgar Rice Burroughs or Harry Harrison could fit in here. Now I understand that there's marketing. Another line means something more for the collectors to collect. My preference though would have been that they just include these books in the SF Masterworks. Perhaps the ebook SF Gateway could be a good testing ground for the books that should be published. So now I want to share a short slideshow so you can take a look at the covers in detail. And then I'll talk about where you can find spreadsheets for both the Golden Age Masterworks and the SF Masterworks. I have a website presence, vintagesf.ca. The CA is for Canada. On my website, I have episodes of the show listed by year. So you can look at the episodes from 2023 or the episodes from 2024. I also have an updated post with spreadsheets for the SF Masterworks and now the Golden Age Masterworks. There's a link to the spreadsheet post in the description of this video, and I'll also pin a comment with those links. Let me know what you think of the Golden Age Masterworks. Are they golden? Do you like the livery of the books? Are there authors that you think need to be published in either the SF Masterworks or in the Golden Age Masterworks? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, keep collecting and keep reading.